Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a cute little project. Um, yeah, little matchbook pockets. Um, I'll open that one up. That's just got a basic little journal card. I've just done this one now, this minute. It's not great thrilling in. Mind you that you might not think what, what's in these is thrilling. These have got some little stickers in. And if you look on the side of them, they've got little pockets and tags. So it's a little matchbook, matchbook, yeah, pocket with a little side tuck and a tag. So yeah, I did those two first, just with some scrap paper I got. And then I realised I didn't really have anything else to go with those two. So they're just going to be two on their own. And now I've made one with this lovely green paper uh, that I've got from the... Uh, die cuts with a view primrose stack that Deborah kindly gifted to me and I've decorated it with just a tiny little bit of uh, yep collage very basic very neutral and these gorgeous little butterflies that are from Jane at crafting kitty cat over on Etsy I'll show you the sheet you get a big sheet I mean you can cut those out and use them in little groups rather than individually like I have. You can even cut the feelers out if you want but as I said life's too short to fussy cut feelers but having said that I do think these butterflies would have yeah <laughs> benefited from me cutting around them feelers but hey ho I'll let you into a little secret anyway I didn't cut them out myself I did it with my cricket machine while I was playing with it the other day so yeah I cheated <laughs> right so yeah we've got the paper we've got the butterflies uh, what did I put inside? Yeah, I've showed you what's inside that. See what I mean about if I'd have waited till I were organised today, you wouldn't have got a video. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'll put those out of my way and I'll get the piece of card out and show you how to make them. It's very easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I've cut my 12 by 12 sheet into four strips that were three inches. Yeah, because you've got four threes in 12. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to start by cutting a piece off the end. And that piece I cut off the end is going to be my little tag. I'll show you that one. Yeah. And your tag wants to be a little bit smaller than that. Yeah. So mine ended up being... Uh, one... Yeah, one eighth under one and a half. So one and three eighths. It just shows how I think about things. So cut one and three eighths off. While I'm here, I'm going to do all three. Fishy, you never know, might get round to doing all three. Stranger things have happened than me getting three things done in a video. Speaking of videos, I'm so sorry I've not got the... Well, it actually, it, I did get a video up yesterday, the day before I didn't. But yesterday's video went up at like four in the morning or something daft like that, didn't it? So yeah, I had a migraine again, so I did nothing yesterday, went to bed, much better today. Jobs are good and right, we've cut our tags off. So now we'll pop this on my scoreboard. I've just got my little one out because we're only doing a bit of scoring down here. Right, we're gonna make this bottom. So we need to score at one and three eighths, yeah, which is the same width as the tag. But then this next one needs to be an eighth of an inch bigger than the tag. So I'm going to score it at two and seven eighths. Yeah, so if you decide to do a stouter pocket with a bigger room for a tag, you could do that. In fact, I may do that on one of them to show you. You'll just need to adjust the size of your tag. So score at one and three eighths and then two and seven eighths. Then turn it back and we're going to fold those over and that's what then becomes your pocket at the bottom. Yeah. Now before we go sticking that down or doing anything, if you're going to put a little sum notch in, now's the time to do it. Still can't find my circle punch, so I'm using this one. Now the thumb notch wants to go in that, that centre section. So, that'll do it. Now, Now's the time to do a bit of inking as well, if you're inking. So I'm going to put mine like that to help me decide which bits need inking. No point inking bits I'm not going to see. 
I know I often do it. <laughs> Some days I can't decide which bits I'm going to sing, which bits I'm not. I'm very grungy with that ink canter. I put quite a bit on. I'm going to ink this as well. Oh. I'm going to round those corners. I'm going to round them with my 7mm one. I just like it better. You don't have to. So that's that bit inked. I'm going to ink all the way down. No, that's the bit I need to ink. That's the bit you're going to see through the thumb notch when I curl it up. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to ink around this end. Oh, look what I've done. <laughs> you silly woman. Oh, see, I've made it wrong already. I've made it wrong. Can you see what I've done? It doesn't take Einstein, does it, to work that one out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down to my migraine. I forgot to cut that off, so it's not actually gonna make a difference. Because if I'd cut it off before, you wouldn't know I'd done it wrong. If that makes any sense, it's just this design paper. It's because it's in a book with one of those tag holes in it, so they can hang it up on display. We've got the white bits on. Silly woman. That's better. That's got rid of all them. I'm glad I'd not put that in an important place. I could have made this longer, couldn't I, actually? You know, if I'd done that at that end? Hmm, yeah. I'll think of that next time. Maybe, maybe not. Right, so round those again. Ink that again. I'm getting deja vu. There we go. Right, so now we've done that, I, I prefer not to bother scoring this next bit. I need to measure that that's going to be right. It needs to tuck under just enough. I do it just enough to cover the rounded bits up. The rounded bits, there you go. And then I'll press it down. And it does end up coming out at four and a half. But had I made any other silly mistakes and then gone and scored it, it might not have worked out right. Because that's where my head is. Ink that one. And I'm starting to do my inner creases. Because it looks good. There we go. Right. A couple of ways we can do this now. Right, one way, if you've got a stapler, and if you've got a stapler that will fit into a little small space like mine does. Yeah, it'll, it doesn't have to be a Timolt's tiny attacher, just a stapler that will fit in. Yeah, I'll show you how I did this one. So I'm going to staple there. You do see the staple, but that doesn't bother me. Yeah, that holds that side together. Then when you come around to this side, you need to tuck that in there. Just making sure that's it. I can sure I don't go too far in because we do want to get something in that pocket. There we go. So can you see what I've done? Yeah. I'm going to come in and give that a bit of a crease now. Perhaps might have been better before. Yeah, now that's all fastened down so that you can tuck that in. There we go. We then need to do that. Can you see how we've got that gap? This is so our tag's not just going to go straight through and fall out. So I'm using my art glitter because it's got a nice fine precision tip. And then I'm going to take a few of my little clips to hold that. With the staple being there it needs a bit of holding while it dries. You can sit there and hold it or put it under something. I'm just not... <laughs> is that overkill do you think? Three clips on that? Ooh, maybe. I don't know. So, while that dries, I'm going to show you the other way, then we'll go back and collage that one. I'm not going to ink this one all up to start off, I'll just show you. So that's one way to do it. So I've done that, rounded my corners. I shall score this again at one and three eighths. Three eighths, yep. Yeah. And two and seven eighths. Mm 
fold those round. I shall then put my little thumb notch in that centre point. I'm just going to ink the bits I can't get to after I've stapled it together. Well, the bits it will be difficult to get to, shall I say. Right, I'll move that out of the way. Right, let's show you another way to do it now. If you've not got a stapler and you don't want to use staples, you can do it with just glue. You need a nice strong glue though. So, all you need to do is glue along there. You can glue the whole way along there because that one is just fastening to there and that's what's going to stop your tag going all the way through. I've dropped my bone folder on the floor. Do I have another one? <laughs> or do we need granny? Let's get granny grabber on job. Du -du -du. I'm in need of, oh look we found a pin on granny grabber. It has a little magnet on. I'm in need of a new one look. Yeah it's wearing out. I've had that one a good few years though. That's the wrong pin. That goes in pin cushion. Silly woman. Right, so can you remember where we're up to? Because I'm not sure I can. Let's crease that. Yeah, so we've glued that one. Yeah. Then we're going to put glue on these sides, but not the whole way up. I'd say it's around about two thirds I've gone. Yeah. And then. There we go, because by not gluing it the whole way up, that's going to allow us to tuck that in. So that's a no staple way of doing it. Right. The other way, I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to tell you how this one came about. <laughs> this one is what happens if you forget to only glue two thirds of the way up, you see, yeah? So you then put a label on the front that will help that tuck in. I could actually shorten that a little bit. And then it goes between the label and the bottom. But I still like it. It looks good. So that's three slightly different ways of doing it. Now I'm going to bring this one over. Tuck it in just till you can't see the curved bits. I find it's just the right amount that. And the corner punch I've used is the same size as the quarter inch Tim Holtz one. Trumper, trumper one. So, there we have. I don't want to bend that too much while glue's still setting, but there we have another one. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get this one back that had clips on. Take them off. Get rid of any squidgeage. And I'm just going to flatten that back out with bone folder because clips have wobbled it a bit. That's better. Right. And I'm just going to decorate this one, just so that we've got some decorated. And like I said, extremely simple, extremely plain. I just wanted, we'd got the green, we'd got the white and the black on the butterflies. So there are our colours, green, white, black, well, off, white, cream, whatever you want to call it. Let's move all them out of the way, jobs are good. I don't need my stamps, I just want my glue book. Well, my glue book pages. Right, so very simple collaging. I've gone and got a few bits out. You don't need to see the whole of my junky collage box. You saw that in the last video. And the reason I end up with loads of pieces in my collage box, very at the same size, I'll rip about three or four book pages all at once when I tear it into pieces. So that's nearly the same as that. I thought it were the same, but it isn't. So I'm having a piece of book page. I want a strip of music paper. I like the vintage stuff because it tears much easier. I don't know what song that were. A bit strange. And a bit of this green painters masking paper. There we go. Not a lot of thought going into that at all. I'm going to use my Elmer's because I love it. I didn't get my collar, me, um, yeah, my yes paste out when it got hot this year. I did then find it because we'd been forecast another heat wave, and now today 
apparently it was shocking devastating news that we're not having a heat wave i'm like not shocking and devastating me that mate i'm quite happy about that so yeah some parts of the country might get it as high as 27 for a few days other parts might just get rain so far we've got rain i know it's not fun for people who are on the holidays but i'm not <laughs> i'm at home in craft room that was so naughty weren't it <laughs> oh see karma got me my glue fell over yeah i <laughs> don't like hot weather that much i'd be quite happy living in alaska i would i'm telling you i really would right pop that on <laughs> sorry if you're on holiday watching this seething in rain in a caravan do apologize board games that's what i recommend bit of scrabble can't go wrong right, so that's that on and let's see what size butterfly i'm probably going to be really boring and use the same size because you do get a good selection on this because they're going to end up in different yeah they're going to end up in different projects or in different sets so I'm using the same size butterfly, it's perfect. I nearly went mad and had a bit of bling on these, but I don't know where I've put it. Right, I'm going to glue this on with my art glitter. I printed it on really thin cardstock. Packets is 160 GSM, I'm saying more like 120, 130. It's more like a thick paper than a cardstock. Sure, let's have you facing that way, yeah? Can't all be boring and go the same way, can we? No, that would never do. And I'm going to use a little bit more paper down here. I want a thin strip type piece of it. And then I'm going to use one of the Tim Holtz words. That's a little bit too long, isn't it, really? I don't even think that one needs any ink. We'll go with that one as it is. So yeah, if you are in your rainy caravan watching me, I hope you've remembered to take some craft stuff with you. You could probably do this one by nicking, uh, well, I'm going to say nick your husband's newspaper, but that's so sexist, isn't it? Grab a newspaper, yeah, a bit of brown wrapping paper, <coughs> book page, yeah, get kids to draw you some butterflies, jobs are good in. Right, what we're going to have, I like that stay strong, but it's very short. I, I like the look of a longer phrase. That one's too long. Live simply, give generously. Look on the bright side. Yeah, look on... If, <laughs> if you sat in a caravan with rain beating down on your roof, this is what you need to do. Look on the bright side. There you go. This one is specially for you. Enough about raining in caravans now. Oh, I've spent many a time in a rainy caravan. To be quite honest, I did caravan holidays a couple of years when kids were younger. And once they were asleep, I didn't care what weather were like. So I got my feet up watching telly or reading a book. I was happy as Larry. Right, I'm going to cut. I think I need... I did have one card with a perfect size corner. And then I lost it. So I cut another one and it was a bit too big. It's smaller than my corner chomper on my tag board would do. So I've done it by cutting the corner off this card. Dinky. Right, you're going to need to cut the length of this down as well. Now how much you cut it down is going to depend on how much glue you've used there. Yeah? So pop it in. I need to cut about yay much off. If I'd have popped it in upside down, I'd have been able to mark it exactly where I want to. Yeah. Because I, want me, I don't mind my tab sticking out, but I don't want my actual tag sticking out. Also, if I could cut straight, I could have cut that off with my scissors. For some reason, I'd have to pick big chomper, big chomper up. I don't know why I did that. 
That was just madness. Sheer madness, I tell you. Ready for a dip in ink. And I've put some homemade tabs on this one that I've done again on my Cricut. Right, a little bag. I cut them out of some cardstock that I wouldn't I weren't too keen on using the patterns, but I liked the colours on both sides, so yeah. Look, that's so cute and it goes so well with this. It's like a beigey olive brownie. Yeah. Mud colour, it light mud, like you get outside your caravan. Can't resist that one. Oh, I don't know, you might be you might be baking in the sun over in the US watching this. Not in a rainy caravan in Clacton on Sea or wherever. Never been to Clacton on Sea by the way. I'm not disparaging Clacton on Sea. Yeah, we used to go to Ingermells when we went. Oh Skeggy. Skeggy or Ingermells. Lovely. It were actually. Kids just like well, my kids don't like sand, strangely enough. <laughs> so, but they like all the things you get at seaside places that you won't you won't get at other places, like they like the arcades and the games and mini golf and like to go bowling and pictures if it is raining. Yeah, sand. Really, I don't like sand, so I'm not too bothered. Yeah, they really don't like it. Right, so that's that one. So we've got two. Right, I just want to finish that third one, don't I? We've got to make this a hat trick. Let's make it a hat trick. Let's see how quick I can do this one. Speed crafting while waffling. That is a challenge. Corner, corner. We've already cut the tag off. I've only done one, so there would be two more. What am I like? I've already made it. Could I be any dippier? I really could. That's again, that's migraine does that to me. I mean, my head's not in, <laughs> my head's not, yeah, best of places at best of times. But yeah, wow. I, I never, do you know, I should see them coming on and I don't until last minute, but what? Hey ho. Strangely enough, before I had medication to help prevent migraines, so when I do get them, they're not half as bad. I knew when they were coming on a lot better. It's like I don't see the warning signs so much now. I don't miss my legs going numb and collapsing on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, my vision very rarely goes funny now, so, and that used to be one of my first signs. I'm going to cut this with scissors. I'm going to be a rebel. I can do this. Look at that. It's all straight. Ooh, did it work? Yeah. Can I get it out? Debatable. Yeah, I did it. So I don't recommend doing it like that. Whee. Another one of these little teeny tiny ones. Yeah, if anyone did ask, I have now done. I don't know if I said this in the last video. Well, if I've said it, I'm saying it again. Uh, I've done two more files with the tabs because I did you. I've used a shape and I've not redesigned them yet. I've used a shape that you have to pay for in Cricut Design Space. So I've done a mixed sheet of A4 with three sizes on and a mixed sheet of 12 by 12 with three sizes on. So if you do want all three sizes, you'll only have to pay once, if that makes any sense. Although actually, if you bought the shape once, do they only charge you for one? I have no idea because that shape is free to me. I pay for that monthly cricket access at the moment. It's one of those things that I'll, I will look up when I remember. When that is, I really can't put a date on it. Could be this side of Christmas, could be other side at next millennium. It's 
These are all the important things I wrote down. To do this good job, Etsy tells me what to do when. <laughs> right, so that's that. I've not decorated the tags. I mean, you can do. I've just not really gone to town decorating these at all. I think they're just nice as they are. It's another one of those less is more moments, isn't it? I'll look bitch can see and that bitch can't see off camera. You've seen enough inking now for one video. I still think speed inking contest would be a great idea. <laughs> Pop him in. So yeah, this one fastens in the other way. How did we do that one? Yeah, we did that one in that way. So we've done two like that. Yeah. Right. Am I going to hit the same butterfly? Do you know what? I think I am. Because I can. There we go. So we want book page. I'm going to use one of the ready-made ones. That's even the right size now. Green masking paper. Chunk of. And green masking paper, but bottom strip off. You really could mask make these so quick and easy, couldn't you? That's a bit bigger than the last one. I think I need to rip a bit off that. It's too big for me liking. Bit of inking. Especially when it's this type of collage when there's not a lot, you've got your little formula and you're going to stick with it. I think collage in that um, junk mail journal as well has helped me with my collage. You can't mess about too long with that, you collage in such large areas. It would have took me years to collage that if I'd have fussed with collage like I used to. I'll tell you what the, tell you what the turning point when with me was in collage because people say they struggle and they don't do it as well. And But I've been through all that. And do you know what the turning point was? You know when people started doing these masterboards? I think I've only ever done two. Yeah, they do these masterboards where they just randomly collage an A4 sheet or 12 by 12 or whatever. Then they randomly cut it up. And then they decorate it and the collage on them looks fabulous. So you think you can't possibly have decided what's going to go where when you're randomly collaging an A4 or 12 by 12 sheet, can you? So there's loads and loads of ways it's going to look good. So after that, I just stopped stressing and just started slapping it down. Just slap it on, woman. There you go. So yeah, that really was. That's far too big. That really was what helped me relax a little bit about collage and worrying about where to put stuff. And trust your own instinct, trust your own opinion as well. Listen to Timothy. If it looks good to you and you put it there, that's the right place to put it. Yeah. Don't matter if not everyone else likes it. What's that old saying? You can please some of the people all the time. All of the people, some of the time, but you can't please old people all the time, and it's so so true. But you can't let that affect what you do and how you do it. Am I getting wise in my old age, or am I just talking rubbish? Waffling. Right, put the butterfly on. I think we're going to have him sort of more up. up upright than the other two so they're all going in slightly different directions not that it matters because they're all going to end up in different places so yeah I mean these are ideal for just bobbing in as little happy mails or extras with my orders and bits like that I'm just laughing at what I've done and this person if she watches this video she'll know who she is uh, ordered from the Etsy shop big box of straw paper I know she crafts in a dining room I know she's limited for space so I messaged her and said if you want you can have just half a box yeah I mean if anyone else just wants half a box contact me the postage is actually the same amount because it still comes in the same weight category but yeah 
and now I've started packing a box up and I'm putting all sorts of other stuff in. <laughs> so I have not saved one, I suppose I have. I've saved her having too much straw paper in her life. Right, what else have we got? Oh, there's one here that says, I feel so lucky. That's what we've got. Look on the bright side. Adventure awaits you. Believe in yourself. Yeah, that's what you've got to do when you're collaging and crafting and anything. I wish I... Don't we all say it? I wish I could go back and know what I know now. My mum used to say it. I wish I could wish I were your age and know what I know now. Yeah, we do. I wish I could have been this confident when I was younger. I wasn't. Not nearly. Right, ooh, teeny tiny butterflies, nearly forgot them. We've got butterflies all over the desk. Yeah, so if you're wanting an I love cabbage white butterflies, and I'd said that to Jane, and then she came up with this, and I'm like, wow, thank you so much. And I think it's a pound. She does very reasonable digitals. And some t she said to me about one other day, is it too simple? And I said, no, because quite often you're looking for something, aren't you? And the things are either completely and utterly plain or they're really busy. And I often find that middle ground sometimes, yeah, you need something at middle ground. And there's a mixture of all of it in Jane's shop. Fussy. Not so fussy. And medium fussy. <laughs> That's I'm talking rubbish now about Jane's shop. So that's crafting kitty cat if you fancy some cabbage whites. I thought I had another teeny tiny one. Well, it could have flown off. The kid could be anywhere looking at this desk. Where's he gone? I'm not going to spend three hours looking for a tiny butterfly that is probably hiding under something. Is he there? I could put a slightly bigger one on this just for... Yeah, I can. Because I say so. And I'm the boss. And they're my rules. Yeah, so get bossy yourself at collage. Yeah. That's where it's going because I said so. End of. Oh, we've been watching Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I want to be Nessa. If you've not seen Gavin and Stacey, check it out. Fabulous. Bit neat knuckle sometimes, but so funny. Right, that's that. I've got three little pockets. Yeah, that ended up on the wrong side because I just punched it on the wrong side. That were all. I didn't intend to put it on that side, but it don't even matter. You can put them on either side you want. Uh, I'm not going to decorate things for inside. I will do that as and when I use them. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you've learnt something. And yeah, I thought they were really cute. Really cute. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.